All right, hello everybody, and welcome to the next episode in our countdown on the top 10 machines in Horizon Zero Dawn, according to me. We are nine days away from the release of Horizon Forbidden West, and so I figured what better way to go ahead and celebrate that than by counting down these machines in Zero Dawn. So today is number nine, and number nine is the Snap Maw. So if I go to our machine catalog and highlight the Snap Maw here, the Snap Maw is such a cool machine. Obviously, it's inspired by the design of a crocodile, and crocodiles are some of my favorite animals, actually. Uh, and these guys are just about as cool, honestly. Uh, they're absolutely gigantic as well, um, and very well armored. Uh, they've got a couple really cool features about them. Um, namely, they've got a freeze sack here where they launch lobs of uh, freeze at you, and then they've also got uh, blaze canisters in the back, which you can use those to blow them up. So there's actually a couple different strategies you can use to go ahead and take these guys out. I prefer aiming for the free sacks myself. Uh, the unlocks for overriding these guys are at uh, Cauldron Row, uh, which is located in the uh, south of the gate, south of the Gatelands, uh, just off from the Copper Deeps. Uh, so if we go to our map here, that would be right here. So south of the Gatelands, which is up here, just off from the Copper Deeps, right there, Cauldron Row. If you notice, it's strength is freeze its weakness is fire so it does have a weakness to fire uh so fire arrows work pretty well against it however i i personally like to go ahead and just damage the freeze sacks on its throat to freeze it uh and that will actually uh completely freeze it and i, I personally i do it using blast slings uh it's one of the few times where i really really uh use the blast slings a lot and so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and show you actually how i go ahead and do that and well we'll be right there all right, so if I go to our map here, we are just outside of Meridian. There's actually a snap loss site right here, just to the east of the city. And we're going to go ahead and use that for our demonstration. So we're going to go right over here. I'm going to slide right into the bushes here. All right, we should have two snap moths in here. That is correct. I'm just going to make sure all my weapons are ammoed up the way I want. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have two of my um, my precision arrows there that are the highest damage arrows in the game. Uh, they are sort of my plan C. My plan B is actually these fire arrows because they are weak to fire. Uh, but my primary is the blast bomb from the blast sling. I'm going to be using these like crazy. I'm going to go ahead and get the high ground advantage here. And let's just go ahead and start blasting. Well, that didn't work. That third one did not work at all. Ah, there's, there it went off. There we go, now it's frozen. That means it's gonna take double damage. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. That did not go as planned at all. There we go. So yeah, they're not the hardest machines. Uh, let's see, machine, machine scavenger box, those sell for a decent amount. You can sometimes get coils off these guys, which is nice. Coils and weaves. Um, for instance, nope, that's snap all lens. Ah, well. Not today, but you can sometimes get, um, the uncommon coils and weaves. I think that you can sometimes even get rare ones, the blue ones. Uh, though, though they are, uh, presumably, not quite as common. Um... You definitely can't get any of the purple weeds off them. As you can see there, uh, they're fairly easy machines to take out. Definitely a lot easier than the Stormbird. Uh, and I did that very, very sloppily. Uh, that first machine, I never even got to blow up its, uh, its chill water sack. And the second one managed to actually hit me, which normally I can avoid getting hit by these guys. So I did that very, very sloppily, and yet it still came out as clean as it did. So that tells you just how weak they are. But they're still a really awesome machine, and I love them a lot. So that's actually it for today, and I will go ahead and see you in the next video.